Yo guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Felicia here. We're here for Ruby Volume 9, episode or chapter 4. Um, yeah, I'm a bit low energy. I don't know why. I'm like really tired. And I had the whole thing of coffee, so I'm not even sure why. But yeah, still excited. Um, I think this is the episode we're gonna get the caterpillar if we're just going off of the intro. Like they already went through the red foresty place and then next was like the like the nighttime luminescent mushroom area and I think the caterpillar was there if it even is a caterpillar here and then after that I think we're going to the bridge or we're gonna run into the night first and then the bridge I think so yeah we haven't seen John yet maybe we'll see John this episode let's get started oh wait we can skip the intro Yeah, okay, well, I'll just go, to, yeah, we went here already, right? So now we're here, I think. And th yeah, th this guy. And then we're going to see Jean. And then we're going to the clouds bridge, right? This area. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry if I'm talking a bit louder than normal, I don't know. Like, uh, hello, can you, what, can you go? We're here, is this it? We're just going to stay here. This intro's taking a lot longer than I wanted it to. Also, I didn't want to be like super close, so I'm sitting back a little bit. So I have to talk a little bit louder, but if it's too loud, I apologize. Are there subs on here? Settings. No. Little, you gotta be okay with the cats at this point. Okay, cool. Curious cat? What is this cat? Which one do you go by? Oh, I don't go by. That belongs to the days and the years. But if you are asking me what I am, I do suppose I am indeed a cat. Most curious. Of course. Uh, look, my friends and I really need to get to that giant My mom's cooking something downstairs that smells so good. So hungry. It looks to me like we're even farther. Yeah, I think that's because we're six inches tall. It could be both. <laughs> tree, 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 tree. Mm -hmm, the tree. Oh, of course. That's my glass that is dirty. most definitely impossible. You do not go to the tree. The tree goes to you, unless of course you're me. You see. Not even nope. a little bit. Well, that's <laughs> your problem. It's a matter of perspective, I'm afraid. But uh, couldn't you take us then? You've to go, you have to not so want to go. Or something like that, probably. Back? Yes, I'm glad we understand one another. No sense in seeing a sight seen. Please, uh, you helped Alex. Well, how does that make sense? Because clearly he's probably been all over this place. So it's like, like he has to return to place he's already been, right? I'm assuming this cat has been all over the other after to know all these different people or whatever. He knows the king. He knows Alex. He's probably been all over the place. When she was Alex, Alex, Alex. How do you know her? Are you friends of hers? Lifelong nemeses? Wait, don't tell me. Okay, no, tell me. Yeah, uh, well, we don't know. <laughs> you can fly. Personally. Just uh, she wrote a book about her entire adventure in the Ever After. A book? Is it well liked? It's kind of a childhood favorite of everyone's where we're from. Yes. Oh, please. I simply must know more. So she wrote the book about her experiences here. Okay. I thought it was just like a, like a, I guess it makes sense because it was a fairy tale. So it had to come from somewhere. I thought it was just like, you know, she got out and she told everyone her story and then people probably believed her. Some people probably made fun of her, but it was like passed down from generation to generation or something like that. But I didn't know she actually wrote a book about it. What did she write about? How was I portrayed? And do I smell a <laughs> From one cat to another, could you give us a minute, please? Oh, so they're spoken for. Well, please, please hurry. I have so many, many questions. From one cat to another, I don't think have we heard we Blake sure reference herself as a cat before? Annoying cat. Got him. Totally roasted. Thank you, guys. <laughs> curious cute. cat was described as an ally with an appetite for information. Just because they don't want to go back to the tree doesn't mean we can't lure them there. Okay, 
bro, the expressions are so good this volume. I'm sorry that I keep pausing, but like the way their mouths are moving and the way they had the little, you know, hand movements and stuff like that, like it's I feel like that's just so refined compared to other volumes. Like they really put their foot in this volume for real, for real. In terms of like just like the visuals and the the animations and the music so far has all been really tight. I really like it. The story could be a little a little bit better. Yeah. We just need to keep their attention along the way. That shouldn't be too hard. We know all sorts of- The cat's gone. <laughs> no! Uh, no, no, no! <laughs> but wait up! Uh, didn't you have questions for us? We'd be happy to answer them. <sighs> I sense a bot approaching. <laughs> Zinger. No, no, I, I mean, we do still need to go to the tree, but that'll take ages, right? Uh, plenty of time to tell you all the stuff from our world. <laughs> Look, uh, ever seen a scroll before? Ooh. Luminous rectangle. Does that still work down here? Ooh. What does this button do? Why is it painting tiny flat versions of me? Is that what I look like smiling? Hook, so line, and questions. sinker. How exciting. So okay. the old man and the boy share a body now? Ooh, well, that's got some uncomfortable implications. <laughs> who thought that was a helpful way to reincarnate? The same people who put a city in the sky? Ooh, <laughs> speaking of Atlas, did that CL girl from the Vital Festival ever come back in a notable way? <laughs> There's just so many characters to keep track of. Yeah, a lot of characters. What was my original question? Like, it's your turn. You have asked about the origins of Remnant. That's right. Woo, those two brothers. Talk mm -hmm. about a god complex, am I right? All in all, it's like a mini a recap. Summary, though I felt some of the character voices were a bit uninspired. Looking at you, wise huntress. Nah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did I? I'm not sure if I said this before, but I think it was in volume seven, volume eight, or something. I kind of, I, <laughs> I'm not sure if I said this in a video or if I told my friends IRL, but I said that um, Weiss's uh voice actress was a uh, like uh, not that she's bad, not that she's bad. It's just like it, it sounded a little off like a little too like not that much expression did they watch the video did they know or is it other people realizing the same thing i realize and they're making a joke about it here because oh no <laughs> i feel really bad Can you go back again? though i felt some of the character voices were a bit uninspired looking at you wise huntress again it's wise just wise <laughs> apologies to your credit, you lost oh, no. know more about the beginnings of Remnant than Alex did. That girl could barely see past her own nose. Oh, what do you mean? Oh, you know. Just hilariously concerned with trivial things. Yeah, but she learned her lesson in the end, right? I'd certainly say so. Even the way well, the eyebrows are moving. The edge <clears throat> of the garden's acre. Ooh, all right, yeah, so we're going to that one. Um... But then I guess all the purple clouds and stuff is up the tree. So I think we're gonna get to the tree pretty soon within like this the next two episodes. This world is put together like a bunch of mixed up puzzle pieces. How does anyone make sense of this? Each acre is made specifically for its inhabitants and their roles. Is it not like that on Remnant? N no. How strange. It never even occurred to me to ask that before. I have a question I'd like to ask. How much longer before we're back to regular size? Not long at all. The garden is just down this path and is sure to have all the ingredients we need for a lovely Grogurt parfait. <laughs> just Grogurt. don't go talking to anyone without me. If you're not careful. We might get our heads cut off. That is how we met, isn't it? <laughs> Ooh, you remnant folk are such troublemakers. Well, I'm sure we'll cause a lot less trouble once we're back to normal. Bah, I don't see what all the fuss is about. Some of my best friends Ooh, are six inches pretty. tall. If I were you, I'd be more worried about... Oh, who was that scary sorceress you mentioned? Uh, Salem. 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 How many more relics does she need to end the world again? <laughs> How are you even supposed to stop her now that... Brother. Gone? And a who? Now who's gone? I talked over it. How are you even supposed to stop her now that Atlas is gone? Oh. Yeah, yeah, you got like what? 
Hmm. There were four. I, yo, bro, I'm my movie knowledge has gone down the toilet since this pandemic. Um, there's Atlas, Vacuo. Where were they at? Veil, vale, and what's the other one? No, they were not. At, where, where were they at? Oh my god, Mistral. There's four, right? There's four, and then like two were basically done because Beacon fell. Even though there's still like a place around it, but then you had and then. Hmm. I don't know. I think they got like two kingdoms left that can fight against Salem. That's all I'm trying to say. He hit a sore spot, man. My God. Uh, hey, Rubes. I. Uh, maybe we shouldn't worry about home right now. We've got enough problems to. The cat. What? <laughs> oh no! I wasn't paying attention. Where did they go now? Oh, they saw a bug. And you didn't say anything. It was a very interesting bug. Of all the characters from the book, why did it have to be the cat? Why couldn't we have gotten help from the lively carpenter or the rusted knight? One was sweet, one was handsome, and neither of them had the attention span of a goldfish. You know, I bet you could find a goldfish in one of these ponds. Lou, I don't think you're helping. Hey, do you hear that? You know, that's pretty ominous. I feel like I'm not talking a lot this 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 episode, but like there's nothing to really say. I'm like I'm just listening. I'm invested. That's so pretty, yo. Man, it's they did such a good job. A garden? It certainly looks like a garden. But where's that humming coming from? The creeping behind big behind caterpillar. What Look at him. You? I am getting really tired of that question. What question? <laughs> what are you? Oh, that <laughs> you'll see why he's hugging obvious. little. I am an herbalist. The herbalist. At least. Hmm, until I'm not anymore. Oh, good. Well, all questions answered then. Um, sorry to bother, but, uh,. My friends and I could use some help. Uh, see, we're trying to get to that giant tree, but... Help getting to the tree? Ah, yes. Everyone needs help these days. Everyone. What's that supposed to mean? Why you say it like that? Bro, that's sick. Well... Are you coming in, or aren't you? You can make us a Grogurt parfait, right? <sighs> Ooh, trailer shot, or promo picture, whatever. Mm, I must say, you all seem a bit, uh, hesitant. What did you say you were again? We're huntresses. And what exactly does a huntress do? Fight? Monsters, I guess? Save people! I'm sorry, I don't understand why this matters. I don't understand how you don't understand. I am an herbalist. I make medicines and remedies to help others on their journeys. It is what I am. So, do you know what a huntress is, or do mm. you guess? Huntresses are heroes. This is uh, such a callback to that um, Mountain Glen scene, you know, when they were, I think it was volume two, when they were like in the cave with Ublak and he was asking, asking them, he's like, oh, what does a huntress mean to you? And uh, I forget what everyone said, but Ruby wanted to just save people and be a hero, right? Yang, I believe she's, she was like, I'm just, I don't really care. I'm just here for the thrills because I don't care what tomorrow brings or something like that. Blake and Weiss, I, I'll be honest, I don't remember what they said. <laughs> um... Blake probably says something about uniting the faunus and, like, you know, making people see that the faunus are not bad. And Weiss probably says something to do with, like, uh, bringing honor to her family or continuing her lineage and whatever. I don't know. But this is a callback to that. And it seems like everyone in the Ever After cares about, like, your purpose. Or, like, even Little said it. Like, I don't have anything to do yet because I don't have my purpose yet. Or something like that. And when they met Ruby, they said is to 
human is to be your or is to be a ruby is to be your purpose so finding a purpose having a role that seems very integral to this world and it's a, it's a good way to call back to that volume two um scene because maybe their answers have changed so yeah we protect those who can't protect themselves thank you now would you say that you're good huntresses um Look, can you help us or not? I <laughs> can am it not answer trying. that? But you are making this far more complicated than it needs to be. I think he's very literal. As, uh, again, that's another thing. I think in this world, it's like very literal. Like what your job is, is who you are, and that is your role. So it shouldn't be like this complex to them. Whereas to Ruby and them in, in our IRL world, it would be, um, it would require a lot more introspection, I guess, to like figure out like, is this who I really want to be? Who am I really? Am I good at this job? Who knows? You know, what are the metrics? Whereas here, it's like, yes or no, come on. We all have our titles, our roles to play. But in order to help you become whatever it is you need to become, you should really have a better understanding of what you are now. Okay. How do we open Mushroom Door? <sighs> this is how a king winds up a prince. Follow me. My work what? Is never done. What? What's that line supposed to mean? What? Did the king come become the prince? Did he de age? Huh? Oh, uh, not the hookah. Oh my god, they're about to get high. Oh no. <laughs> Please take a seat. Um, actually, I think maybe we should be going. Right, Ruby? This won't take long. Um, <laughs> okay, you can't leave now. All right. The questions. What? Oh my god, they're about to get super high and trip balls. <laughs> Oh, this is probably where we see the um the younger Ruby. You have to be sure of what you are and of what you're going to be. Like Ruby. Ooh, nice effect. Hey. What? You don't have to go for I'm sorry, let me just look at this. <laughs> let me just look. Younger Yang. Wow, so this is why they were shown in the intro, probably. I mean, there's more than one reason for everything, but wow. So there's like their full volume one to three designs in this new like Maya. I don't know what it's called, but I know it's called Maya. Wow, 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 wow. Forward, you know, you could go back, back to before. What? I mean, you literally can, but okay. What are you talking about? It's simple, really. Her colors are a bit more muted. Like that orange looks brighter. What are you talking about? It's simple. Than that orange, you know. You could just be human. Are the colors more muted? Doesn't matter. Sorry. Or just a cat, if you wanted. Really, it's up to you. Why would I do that? Like I said, it's simple. Much simpler than trying to be a bridge between humans and faunus. Why struggle with that responsibility? This should be named. Why bother anymore? What does it even stand for now? Mm. Instead, you could be a nobody. Could you imagine? Not a single bit of baggage upon your shoulders. Isn't that what you want? To be free? To be something simpler? To be whole again? Mm. No. My losses, my failures, those more than anything are what have shaped me into who I am. Showed me how I need to grow. If there's yeah. something I'm missing, it's not because I've lost it. Yeah. It's because I haven't found it yet. And the only way to do that is to keep going. A simple life wouldn't be my life. My family, my friends, my culture. I belong to them just as much as they belong to me. To give that all away 
wouldn't be simplicity. It would be betrayal. I don't Hell know yeah. who you think you are, but let me tell you who I am. I am the granddaughter of a hero and the child of a villain. I am a citizen of a fallen kingdom and an heir to nothing. I will not be defined by my name because I will be the one to define it. I am Weishmi. And I am a huntress. I am a huntress. I am a huntress. Oh, I'm really so? not gonna say it. I mean, that was, yeah, pretty much what I, <laughs> I thought it was gonna be. Um, I could've used a bit more emotion, but okay. Uh, but yeah, I, pretty good. Nice reflection. Moving on. Huntress? This is more interesting to me. Like the ones you read about in books? I... I don't know. They always saved the day, didn't they? Always knew what to do. Ruby, you tried, always though. You tried. But... Life isn't like a fairy tale. That's right. It's up to you to make things better, isn't it? Everything all depends on you. Your sister needs you. Your friends need you. The whole world needs you to keep fighting forever and ever against an invincible monster that took your mother. Mom was the best. But even she failed. That doesn't seem fair. None of this seems fair. What, what are mm. you supposed to do? You can do whatever you want. Be whoever you want. You don't even have to be Ruby Rose. This is not gonna work so, now because Ruby what are you gonna be? is conflicted. Get away from her! <laughs> I don't know what I made me laugh. The herb. Look at yourself. You're done. You're supposed to be helping others find their way. But you've lost your own. Please let me help. And take a little bit of my heart. That's the second time he's done this. What does it do? Uh, I do apologize. I always was a bit of a workaholic. Huntresses, was it? Hmm. Peculiar things. Wait, what? Hold on, what? Wait, what? I love their expressions here, but like, hold on, is he not gonna make the thing? After all that, he's not gonna make the growth potion? Hello? Are you gonna be tiny forever? Huh. Oh, I found the cat! Okay, that's just the end. Alright, great. Fantastic. Well then, um... Not as fun as the uh, last episode, for sure. But, I mean, it was... Oh, now Lindsay Jones is the top villain. Maybe because it's it's in order of who talks first per episode. I, again, I don't know why I care so much about that. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it was it was uh, it was pretty good, pretty good. I like, the, you know, the callbacks of Volume 2 and everything. Them being more resolute in their um, determination to be huntresses. And, you know, like, okay, I am a huntress. Like, this is who I am now. Before it was, like... You know, I don't. I, I can't. Say, I even. I can't even say that because I don't even remember what they said in volume two. But to my recollection, it wasn't as straightforward. You know, like I think Ruby was the only one who was like so sure that she wanted to be a huntress and like what that meant to her is like to be a hero and to save people. Um, and now it seems like Weiss, Blake, and Yang. It's like it's the reverse. You know, they're more confident in themselves as huntresses, and they they're, they have a clear goal and what they want to accomplish in life and stuff like that. And they're like ready to keep going despite the challenges. Like Yang, um, she, she she's like totally okay. Not okay, but I don't know. But like she her, her arm's gone, right? So she's not whole. But like she's like I'm not. It's not that I'm missing something. I just haven't found it yet. Whatever it is, if she even is missing something, uh, Blake is like I don't have to be. I don't have to choose a side, you know, it'll be a betrayal to choose one and forget the other. Part of my culture is and stuff being a uh, human and being a faunus and she's like, I'm going to be the bridge regardless. And Weiss is just like, I'm going to forge my own path and defy my own name because I have nothing left, but I'm still here. So, like, I'm going to continue on because that's what she's going to do. So, really good. The, the design of the caterpillar was really good. 
or the herbalist. It was really good. A, a lot of designs are really great here. Um, is there anything else to look at? The bridge. Pretty cool, pretty cool. But man, I hope we see Jean next episode, at the least. I hope they don't stay tiny forever. Oh god, the food downstairs smells amazing. I'm so hungry. Let's see what else we got. Is there anything else to look at here? There we go. Look how sick he is. That's like a, like a, almost like a Voltron character or something. But yeah, really sick, really sick. Whoever does the art is really good. I think that's it. All right. Well, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.